Hello everyone, hola a todos. Today I'm going to be talking to you about three different gimbals for three different situations. This is the Feiyutec G5, Zizun Smooth 4 and Goodson Moza Mini Me. As you can see, those two gimbals are mobile gimbals. So um, I'm going to be starting with the Feiyutec G5. I'm using this gimbal whenever water comes into the game, when it's about beach and sand. And as this gimbal is a splash proof, I can take it out with my kite surfboard or my surfboard. And the footage looks something like this. So then, the Zizun Smooth 4, for me, the little bit more professional gimbal of um, those three. I'm using it when I have time to plan my shots, to um, dial it a bit more detailed in, um, because this gimbal is a little bit more complicated, the handling is not as easy as, for example, the Moza Minimi, which right now is my favorite gimbal for any day-to-day -day use, Instagram stories and so on. So we're going to go a little bit more into details for those two gimbals uh, right now. So I'm going to be talking about the differences between those two mobile gimbals right now because the Tag is an action camera gimbal, the GoPro gimbal, and this is why I'm not going to included in this review right now. So we have the Moza Mini Me on the left, the Zinjun Smooth um, 4 on the right. What I would like to mention first is that they can both um, track objects, they both have time-lapse modes and um, they both stabilize your footage very well. The thing is that for the money um, that the gimbals cost, I definitely prefer the Moza Mini Me because it's $109 right now and it has the joystick as I mentioned before. Where is the joystick on your gimbal, Jinjun? It has the inception mode which the Jinjun Smooth 4 doesn't have and it also what I really really like is um, that it has the possibility to charge your phone wirelessly so no cables hanging around no cables disturbing while you're using your phone yeah that's it basically i prefer the moza mini me because of the details that it has the joystick and it can charge my phone wirelessly and it has the inception mode both gimbals have the Android and iOS apps. Um, what I have to say is that the Android app for Moza is not working to 100% yet. However, they're working pretty fast and really good on it. So, um, yeah, it's improving nearly daily. As always, please let me know if you have any questions in German, in Spanish or in English. No problem. Let me do know down below. Let me know what gimbals you're using. I'm looking forward to see your comments. Thanks for watching.